Welcome back to We Love Car Mods. Uh, Scott's behind the camera and I'm George. So today with the 2018 Tiguan, what I'm going to install is the extended back cover. So it kind of covers the bottom over here and all the way to the back. And the part number for the seven seater version is 5NL0611664649. All right, let's open this bad boy up and let's see uh, how do we get this installed. Of course, this is glued on very tight, as you can see. I have the cargo blocks and the actual rear seat covers over here. Oh, it's multiple pieces. So you got a left side, a right side, and the actual back. Let me put these uh, cargo blocks down. We'll start with the install on the left hand side. And uh, I guess there's Velcro on here in the back to help it stay in place. So for starters, I'm gonna lift up these headrests, get this to hook over the headrests and move that down. There's a pull tab. Make sure this pull tab comes through and then push the Velcro down so it stays in place. Let's go to the other side. Lift up headrest again. Put the cord across. Line it up. Velcro it. Pull the tabs through. Move the seat down a little bit. Make sure these lower flaps are in place. Now the back seats are done. Now for the rear cargo spot, same thing. Essentially, it matches this actual bottom piece over here. So if you want to lift it up, it's really form fitted to this bottom piece over here. So what you could do is remove it. And because it's all Velcro, make sure you line it up a little bit off on this side. Line it up, push it down. Push the Velcro pieces down. See, it takes a couple adjustments. And then you're good to go. Now I just put the slightest back into its original spot. And it goes down. Now, if I want to move this seat down, it has the full coverage all the way. Just make sure this Velcro piece is attached to this bottom piece over here, as mentioned before. Same thing with the other side. Make sure this bottom flat piece is Velcro down. Pull tab is out. And now you have the full thing covered. So with the seats folded down, you know, as you guys know, this actual tray itself can be flipped upside down to get a little bit more space. So even with the cargo cover on, you lose that tab over here, unfortunately, to be able to pull up, but it's still very easily accessible either through the middle or from the side over here to lift up. And if we were to flip it around and go to the lower slot level and to go in, it still works. So in case that you have needed that extra couple of inches or additional space, you have the additional space there for what you need. And here are the car cargo blocks. Where if I were storing things, and I wanted to not move that Velcro on the bottom. Essentially, oh, just ones and twos, and then they just form a little corner like this. Let's have one and two, form a little corner. There's numbers in the back, one and two. Slide them in, they form a corner. Velcro's on, stays on. Look for one and two again. Same thing. And now you have three and four. Same thing, and three and four. 
so over here I took the cargo blocks and kind of rearranged it. I always keep one of these uh, inflators in my car just in case, you know, I have a flat tire or whatever reason, or if my son's basketball or soccer ball is out of air, I could always fill it up. But you can see that if you move it in place, you can adjust these cargo blocks to be as close as you want so it doesn't move, right? So these are all Velcroed on the bottom. Now, if you have something larger, then you can just always lift this up. And then let's say this was this case, I could just move it and adjust it this way if I wanted to and to hold it in place. Thanks for watching We Love Car Mods. Please subscribe.